ESAD is a global company founded in 92. Since uh, the early days, we were what was traditionally called antivirus, which evolved to, uh, to the internet security company or IT security company. Specifically focusing now on providing cloud security and uh, tools like endpoint detection and response. The reason why people should care is uh, because there's a lot that's actually stored in the, in the digital world. Typically for people, these are pictures they're taking, of course. Uh, but it's all the data, you know, that we're working with, all of our records and whatever you can think of. So obviously, if you lose this, then you have a serious problem. If people don't understand why you're telling them you need to install this, you need to behave this way and so on and so on, uh, it's like with kids. If you, if you push them to do something which they don't understand, uh, obviously they're not going to listen to it and they're going to ignore you. Everything that is important in our life requires some level of safety. That's why cybersecurity is these days so important. And we have our data in the cloud, we have our photos in our phones, important documents in our laptops and computers. And you need to secure that because at the end it's a part of your life and you need to feel safe to be able to use the technology to the extent that we are using it these days. Now, our aspiration, let's say, is to be able to enable people to do what they want with technology, to enjoy it. You know, so we take care of the safety and the security so they can enjoy the advantages of having technology around them. There's something, always something happening in our industry or generally in the IT. Today we're talking 5G and IoT. You have home IoT, sort of consumer goods. You have IoT in um, the industrial space. And then you have cars and, and basically IoTs are also mobile phones and so on. Augur is a part of our defense technology. It's not meant to work uh, it's completely alone. It's something that is actually augmenting the rest of our technologies. Uh, the way we are building our security models is actually layers, which work one with another. So Augur, uh, in our meaning, is actually machine learning. If there is a region that for the last 10 years has been developing rapidly in terms of technology, it has been Asia. You know, many countries there, you know, you know, are on the, I would say, on the top of the wave, especially on what is connected to telecommunications and mobility. So it's, it's a great place to work. The major transformation uh, is taking place in India, where the government has uh, started several initiatives. Uh, one of them is uh, Indians to have bank accounts, uh, most of them in the rural areas as well so that basically they can be connected, uh, the communication can be smoother, information can transfer faster. It's like a digital revolution, e-commerce, uh, online transactions, it brings a lot of ease and convenience for normal consumers and businesses as well. Education plays an important role uh, even in, uh, in this age because suspicious activities are taking place like phishing scams. Human element is one of the most uh, important factor uh, to have uh, security around uh, yourself in the cyberspace. Our research plays a key role in understanding how cybercriminals work, in seeing trends, being able to understand latest uh, threat developments, as well as being able to predict new ones. It also helps us to drive new technology development in the right direction. In addition to having this know-how transformed directly into our technology and products for the benefit of our clients, we also often share results of our research with cybersecurity community. We see some countries in Asia that are investing heavily in smart city initiatives, like Singapore, for example. In other countries, like in India, we see trends where digital payments are replacing cash. On the other hand, all these new developments uh, have also their own risks, because if uh, implementation is not done correctly, uh, it can have some impacts on how well the businesses are protected against new threats. One of the most important parts of our approach is that we really want to not only be felt as local, not be perceived as local, but to be local. 
Now, our products are available in more than 30 languages. We even have it in Thai, for instance, in Japanese, in Korean. Uh, and that's why, because we believe that, you know, we need to be as close to the customer as possible. Basically, what we can do is to make sure that these organizations and consumer enjoy the online world or the digital world. And we, as a technology company, try our best and make sure that we protect them in this digital world. If there is something that we are proud about ESET is that in many ways we have been one of the leaders and pioneers on the technology part. So in 10 years what I would really be happy to see is that more people is protected by our technology, that we have more local presence in more places, that in Asia we become one of the leaders there, that's why we are paying more and more attention to this, to this market, adding resources, adding partners, adding more languages. Our technology is definitely among the best, that's what people say, experts say, and we want to see that in 10 years we're one of the leaders and we are protecting more people and letting them to do what they want with technology, to enjoy it.